Now let's take up four note chords. We've covered the three note chords, major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Now we're going to add a fourth note to some of those chords, and we're going to end up with sixths and sevenths and major sevenths and minor seventh and diminished seventh and augmented sevenths. And so let's just see what they're made out of. We started by learning that a major chord is made out of a major scale from the word la scala, which means a ladder of notes. And if we take the root, third, and fifth degrees of the scale, that's a major triad, a major three note chord. Triad, of course, means three. So we can make a uh, quartal chord, a four note chord, by adding uh, another note of the scale. And if I add the sixth degree of the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's called C6. That particular chord is called C6, right? Because I'm taking the sixth note of the C scale and adding it to the C chord. So if I took the F scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and added the sixth note of the scale, that would be F6, wouldn't it? This would be G6 because I'm adding the sixth note of the scale. Notice the sixth is a whole step above the fifth. It's never a half step, a whole step. There's D6 because I'm adding the sixth note of the D scale to it. There's E6 because I'm adding the sixth note of the E scale. Notice I'm not playing C natural. Why? Because the E scale doesn't go like that. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the six, isn't it? So I add the sixth degree of the scale to E, and that's E6. And remember what we learned about inversions, that any chord can be turned upside down, right? So that's, those are all E6, even though they're upside down, okay? Let's see, we've covered A6, E6, D6, A6, I guess we haven't covered. Here's an A major chord. A six would be the sixth note of the scale, so that would be A6. D flat, six. E flat, six, the whole step above the fifth. A flat, six. G flat, six. B, six. And B flat, six. Now, if we can add a 6 to a major chord, like we just did, we can also add it to a minor chord, can't we? And so that's C minor 6. We just played the minor chord, but we added the same note, the 6. So that's C minor 6. F minor 6, G minor 6, D minor 6, E minor 6, A minor 6, and so on. I won't take the time to go through all those, but you get the idea. You just play the minor triad, whatever it is, and add the 6 degree of the scale. Now, you can, uh, if you added a 6 to an augmented chord, an augmented triad, it would sound like that. There's really not much use for that. So while it's theoretically possible to have an augmented 6, it, you know, it's just not useful. Okay? So you don't even need to learn that because it's, it's just not useful. If you add a 6, however, to a diminished triad, this is kind of problematic because it's not called a 6. It's called a, uh, a diminished 7th. And what it is is... The seventh degree of the scale is being double flat. You just kind of have to take that by faith for now. If you're interested in uh, going into that more in detail, you can follow up on some of my other videos. I have a video specifically just on diminished seventh chords and how they work and so on. But anyway, just learn that if you add a sixth note to a diminished seventh chord, you don't, really don't have a six. You, you gotta call it a seventh, a diminished seventh chord. Okay? Now let's go on to seventh chords. Uh, there's two kinds of seventh chords. There's a what's called a dominant seventh, which is always the flat seventh degree of the scale, and there's a major seventh chord. Okay, it's called a major seventh chord because it uses the major seventh of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh of the major scale. That's C major seventh. Whereas that's C seventh or C dominant seventh. So two kinds of sevenths: a dominant seventh and a major seventh. And notice. Once you find the sixth, then it's easy to find the seventh, which is a half step above, and a major seventh is a half step above that. So uh, every time we add a six or a seventh or a major seventh, they're just a half step away from each other. So it's very easy. Okay. Here, for example, here's F six. So where's F seven? Yeah, it's right there. Where's F major seven? You betcha, right there. That's G six. Where's the seventh? Yep, that's G seven. That's G major seven. That's D6, D7, D major 7th, E6, E7, E major 7th, A6, 7th, major 7th, D flat 6, 7th, D flat major 7th, E flat 6, 7th, major 7th, 
A flat six, seventh, major seventh. G flat six, seventh, major seventh. B six, seventh, major seventh. B flat six, seventh, major seventh. So it's easy to find a sixth, seventh, and major seventh. Now, as we said, we can also do that to a minor chord. We had a minor sixth, didn't we? So we can have a minor seventh. Minor seventh chords are very mellow kinds of chords. You hear the melodic music. Those are minor seventh. That kind of sound, okay? And you can also use a major seventh on a minor chord, and that creates a kind of a dissonant sound. There's a place for that, but it's, it's not mellow like a, like a minor seventh is, okay? So, two kinds of sevenths. Dominant seventh and a major seventh, except you can do it to a minor, that's a, called a minor seventh, and it's a minor major seventh. Okay? So that's it for four note chords. Now, there are five note chords, but to do that, we have to do them in two parts. And we'll consider that in the next segment. So we'll see you then.